Welcome to Going Carnivore in Thailand. Day number 60 results video. Well, I'm happy. I've had body changes, although unbelievably, and I've weighed myself every day and I've taken a picture every day. Unbelievably. I weigh exactly the same to the tenth of the kilogram today as I did 30 days ago. However, I measured myself today around my chest, which is big here. Okay. When I measured my chest, I lost one inch right through here my waist right in line with my belly button I lost one inch waist below the belly button which I started measuring after day 30 I lost one inch around my biceps fat on them too I lost two inches. Noi measures across the back of my shoulders. Now, believe it or not, you've got a layer of fat on the back of your shoulders. If you go across the back, I lost one inch. Around my neck, I've lost one inch right around my neck and around my thighs I've lost two inches and yet in the last 30 days the scale didn't do anything now I do exercise some people have said well exercise in a pool don't do anything actually I think it does because I add more resistance to the water by using my hands and pushing back against the way I'm trying to go. Plus, I've got a few other exercises that I've made up to try to increase my flexibility in the pool. I've been eating a lot of steaks. There, uh, I just did the steak unboxing for... Order number four, release that video yesterday, and uh, I'm happy with this. Noe has lost inches as well. She's got the same issue. The scale just doesn't say anything. Now tonight, for example, I just wasn't real hungry. Noe says, you want a steak? I said, no, not really. It's too much. So... I ate a little bit. For lunch today at noon, I had five eggs scrambled with boiled shrimp and with the eggs. No cheese, not anything else. Put hot sauce on it and pepper on it and salt on it. And that's what I had for lunch. And that was it. So giving up the carbs, giving up the vegetables, giving up the fruits is making a tremendous difference on the way I look. Now, I'm going to show you the picture that I showed at the beginning of my two faces where I'm sitting facing the yard at the table. The one was taken before I started carnivore when I did my die broke video and the other one I just took today. And the difference in the look of my skin and my face is substantial to me. Uh, the difference I feel getting in and out of the car, getting in and out behind the wheel, substantial. So... For me, I'm convinced I'm a carnivore.
Now, do I still have cravings? A little bit. This morning, when I wanted to get coffee, the first thing came into my mind was, God, I'd love to have those banana uh, cupcake breakfast little cupcakes. Banana nut. Can't have them. They're not good for me. They're poison. But damn, do they taste good with coffee. They do. I'm still drinking coffee, and I'm putting heavy cream in that has no added sugar. I'm sure the heavy cream has some sugars on its own, but I'm doing heavy cream. Halfway through this month, I started, or three quarters of the way through this 30 days, I started heavy on the eating of the fat. I was throwing a lot of the ribeye fat away. Now I'm trying to eat as much of it as I can. Plus, I'm eating butter. I mean, raw, salted butter. I may have half a stick as a snack. Plus, it's conditioning for me of fat. Now, I'm going to show you a picture. Uh, I've been doing real good on my blood sugar. Let me... Uh, take out my phone here and find my blood pressures. Okay. A few days ago, my blood pressure was 116 over 64, 69 beats a minute. I tested my blood ketone level. It was 0 0.5 in ketones. I tested my blood sugar. Remember, that was as high as 360 in December. It was 109. A week before that, I tested my ketone levels. They were only 0 0.2. So my ketosis went up to 0 0.5. My blood sugar a week on 3.9 was 97. I tested it on 3.1. It was 99. My blood pressure was 116 over 82. Massive improvements. I have cut back on three quarters of the medication I was taking for high blood sugar. I was taking metformin. I cut back three quarters of the dosage. I intend in a month or two months, I haven't decided exactly which, to go through the high end hospital checkup again. And believe me, they run every test I've ever had done to me. And a ton of blood sugar levels, or not just blood sugar, blood everything levels. I mean, they check everything. So in two months for sure, I will go back and I will run that all day testing where you go to the, I go to the Bangkok hospital and you go from station to station to station like a clockwork. And you never wait more than 15 or 20 minutes between stations and they check everything, everything from your eyes to your ears to your blood pressure on all of your limbs, I mean, they'll put four blood pressure cuffs on you at the same time and test your blood pressure on your ankles and your and your arms. Uh, they, they test all the ultrasounds and your gallbladders and your livers and everything else. And I'm going to go through the whole test and I'll get those results. And I'll also get the doctors at that time to reassess what medicines I need to take. So that was a 60-day update. You look at one happy carnivore here. If you're interested in giving it a try, it's up to you. If you got any questions, ask them of the community. Remember, I started the Facebook community as well to ask questions, but you can ask them in the comment sections. Uh, the hardest thing I think is to start thinking of eating as a chore that you have to do because your body needs it. 
Anymore, I eat because my stomach's upset and telling me to eat. Instead of, oh, it's time I got to eat. No, it's not time I have to eat if my stomach don't tell me it's upset and it wants food. If it tells me that, then it's time to eat. So, I'm not going to make a big deal about this. It's only 60 days. I'll be better off when it's six months. Any better off when it's a year of changing my lifestyle. I only hope I live long enough to get down to that 190 pounds I'd love to get down to. Uh, I doubt if I ever get to 190. If I get to 200, I'm going to be doing good for me. But you never can tell. You know, uh, if the inches keep going away, the pounds got to go somewhere. I can't go into all muscle. I can't look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, no matter how much I try. I'm the elevator, and that's all, folks.